not want. Yeah. In other words, he's not going to be in need for, for anything. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. And just carefully look at Revelation 7, 17, and let me tell you a little bit about that. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Amen. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for that, that great promise. And, Father, as we open your word once again, we, we pray tonight that it will apply to our hearts and we'll leave and we go out and we'll share the good news mm -hmm. that there is victory in Jesus with the lost and, and dying world. Thank you for that great privilege. In Christ's name we thank you. Amen and amen. amen. Thank you, Lord. So here, the, this verse seems to mark a, a sudden change in, uh, in approach and opinion of, uh, of, of, of some. The, this change we see here is from the shepherd, the sheep relationship. And it has been, we've discussed it so far, um, it, it's a, a I guess you would call it a banquet concept. But however, there are others who believe this verse continues in the same view of thought as, as the previous verses. And so, having said that, let's look at an examination of, of the two concepts. And first we see here the concept of a table. A table is being prepared uh, that conveys the idea of a banquet. Mm -hmm. And so the Lord God is pictured as a host. He is here as we see him. He's entering his gift at his own banquet table. He's bringing them in and, and seating them. And, and so the, the quest now is welcome in the presence of his enemies. And they're made powerless in God's presence. And this table, it, we look at it, we see it's symbolic of the heavenly home, mm -hmm. it, of, uh, of God's children. <laughs> they have passed through the, uh, the plates of trouble, of sorrow and hunger and uh, anxiety and all the pain and, and the suffering. And so now they're at home. Never, ever to suffer again. Amen. And ain't that good news. Hallelujah. And so we see here the, the anointing that is mentioned here in the fifth verse. It's often used for joyful and, and for happy occasions, but the predominant use of anointing is to mark separation or distinction. And so each Christian needs to apply this concept to their own life. You see, Christians are anointed with the Holy Spirit. As the Lord's special people, we are anointed. We are very special people. And we are assured of health and welfare. Mm -hmm. And so here we look at the concept of, of a table. And this table being prepared, it conveys the idea of the shepherd and sheep relationship. Uh, the table is, is a place for feeding sheep. It probably was a uh, plateau that was both level and high. Uh, it was a place for both uh, rest and for safety. And so the, the place here of, of feeling uh, it indicates uh, several significant uh, factors I want to look at. And first, it takes planning and it takes preparation. 
the shepherd would arrive here at the designated place where where he was supposed to be, and he would be right on on schedule, and he'd be right on time, and there the animals would find their salt, their minerals, and their all the food that that they needed, and so it's a place, the place free of, of poison weeds and. And it's also a place where the shepherd can can see in all directions. He can see all all around him, and it, it's a place for uh, clean water. The shepherd has to bring the sheep to clean water, and so uh, either concept demonstrates the provision of God for His people. God is a loving caring God who he provides for his people both in this world and in the world to come. He is a God who can be trusted to supply all needs. Thanks, Lord. Whatever they may be. And he has wholesome plans for those that follow him. You see, God separates his people from others. And he provides bountifully for his people. You know, I, I heard a preacher preach a whole, I guess a 45 minute sermon on that one time. You have not because you ask not. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, you, you think about that picture. Well, I need this and I need that. Do you really need it or do you oh, just yeah. want it? You know, there's a fast difference between need and want. But my God shall supply all your needs. Amen. And so having said that, let me remind you to do this. To turn to the Heavenly Father for all your needs. Jim, would you pray a benediction? Father God, you are an awesome God and we're grateful mm -hmm. for you, Father. We thank you for the opportunities, Lord. Thank you for when you show us mm -hmm what we need to see at that time, Father. Lord, I pray that you be with each and every person that's here tonight. Give them a special blessing, Father. Lord, we do thank of those that aren't um, with us, Lord, that um, we've asked for everything. And Sister Beth, Father, we lift her up to you right now. And this uh, illness on her body, Lord, we pray, Lord, that you touch her and heal her, Father. Lord, we just pray that you be with the other ones that are not feeling well tonight. Mm -hmm. We do thank Sister Lois and her knee, God. We pray that you just touch her knee and be with her and encourage her what she needs to do. Lord, thank you for all of those that are uh, part of this church, Father, we pray for each and every one of them right now. We lift them up to you. Pray for their needs, Father. Lord, we just pray for uh, their desires also tonight, Lord. Lord, um, others that are sick and, and um, our families and friends, Lord, we lift them up to you, Father. You know the needs of each and every person, God. We are grateful that uh, we can come to you, Father. And Lord, tonight we are asking that you answer the prayers. Be with those, Lord that are in need that are not part of this church, Father, around this community tonight, Lord. Help someone be a testimony and a witness to them, Father. Help us, Father, to um, to portray you, Father, when we see people each and every day, Lord. Lord God, we love you. We praise you. We thank you for the blessings you've given us. We thank you for the, the, the opportunities of the week, and we ask you to keep us all safe. In Christ's name, amen. Amen. amen.